What do all these have in common? They're markers and help boaters determine their position, warn of hazards, identify marked channels, and provide a variety of other important information. On navigable waterways, the Canadian government maintains markers and their placement. The most common are lateral buoys that mark the safest channel, floating navigation aids that are red and green, and lateral day beacons that are secured to the ground or other structures. When traveling upstream, which means you're traveling against the current, you keep the red on the right or starboard, and the green or black on your left or port. To make identification easier from a distance or in periods of low visibility, like in fog, low, or backlight, port hand boys have a flat top, while starboard boys have a conical or pointed top. Unless you're in a moving river, you'll need a chart to identify which direction is upstream, and the chart can also tell you exactly where you are. The numbers on the lateral buoys and day beacons will correspond to the numbers on the chart. It's important to know what side to keep the markers on when returning to port from the open water. An easy way to remember where the buoy should be is the saying red right returning. Keep the red on your right when returning to port. Markers with a diamond are hazard buoys and indicate isolated rocks or shoals. Markers with a diamond and cross are keep-out buoys and indicate areas where you should not enter, like around dams. Across Canada, there are numerous dams used for water control and to generate electricity. Some of these, low-head dams, are almost invisible as you approach in your boat from above. But beware, there can be powerful currents that can take control of your vessel or pull a swimmer under the water with the undertow. Markers with a circle are control buoys and provide information like maximum speed limits. Markers with a square are information buoys and indicate local information like campsites or marinas. And another caution marker you should be aware of is this, a diving flag. A diving flag indicates diving activity is in progress and you should slow down and stay at least 30 meters away. On smaller waterways, the local cottage associations often mark the channels for safe travel. These are marked with red and green floating balls. Local hazards like rocks near the shore, shoals or water lines for cottages may be marked with yellow balls or any type of homemade marker, often something as simple as a white jug. Sometimes local cottages, lake associations or campgrounds will mark off an area restricted for activities like swimming. Respect these markers and stay clear. Finally, if you see speed limit signs when coming into port, on a river or in a bay, obey the speed limit and no wake zones. Whether the markers you see are official or unofficial markings, they're all there to help show you the safest areas of passage on the water.